What up, players? It's War Boss Tay up in this mud. So here's my work for today, July the eighth, ninth. No, Wednesday the ninth. I forgot what day it was. I've got all of these guys painted up with their second base coat, which is rust gray over the Dark Reaper. And the reason why I didn't do rust gray first is because um, it would have just bled through the light gray undercoat or it would have, for my um, the guy that I got it from, the paint job underneath it would have just been, uh, would have shown through. So the Dark Reaper is a good base coat and the rust gray just kind of enhances that and builds over it. So yeah, like you can see this guy, originally he had a kind of like a light gray and with a black wash like known oil if I just put rust gray over it would have bled through you would still be able to see the known oil and the black um, and the, and the kind of grayish primer but yeah it's almost covered it completely so they're all facing away from me what I like to do is turn the models in uh, in order and kind of just face them away and then when I do the next bit which is either going to be the backpacks or the pants off trousers I'll face them back towards the front and that way I'll know who I've hit and who I haven't yet I've also put the uh, guys that I've already finished painting in the back over there kind of like watching making sure that everything is all right and in case I need to refer a color or anything to the work that I'm doing I can easily pull them out haven't touched the command squads the artillery pieces the death riders or the heavy weapons teams yet, or the grenadiers, or the quartermaster here in the front. I'm gonna leave that till later as like a reward. So stay tuned if you like um, the kind of sped up let's paint session, then you can see me going through it. And also uh, stay tuned to hear the question of the day. Thanks for watching, latest plays. Okay, thumbs up and here we go with the uh, second sped up time-lapse video of me painting. Today we're just doing rust gray so that's what i'll be doing while i ramble um okay so today's daily question was what painting technique or skill do you want to improve upon and for me it would be airbrushing because i think these guys would be a lot faster getting through them if i had an airbrush and i do actually have an airbrush and some paints from uh, badger studios and i just haven't had the, um, the time, the money to organize getting a compressor. And that's the most important thing to send the air through the airbrush. So uh, as soon as I get one of those and I'm able to square away a space that I can use it and I get a compressor that's quiet and won't take up too much space, then we'll see about adding a, uh, an airbrush element to my painting, which is good because I'm doing more vehicles now and I'm also doing a lot of batch painting. So that's what, um, okay, so for if you're in the challenge and you wanna move on to the next challenger video, then go ahead and stop there. If you wanna hear me ramble, then just keep it playing. The um, technique of batch painting, which I talked a little bit about a long, long time ago in my video, how to batch paint, I think something like 20 night goblins. Uh, the most important thing I found is organizing your space. Like you wanna be able to have the space like I just did to line your guys up by squads and that way it's kind of organized and you can develop a system that works for you on how best to move along through your guys. I tend to enjoy the uh, facing system which basically means that if you're painting individual models like these 28 millimeter scale if you have them all facing you at the very beginning and then say you do a, a layer of something like the rust gray on top of the dark creeper paint. <laughs> My lady boss thinks it's called Dark Creeper. It sounds like Dark Creeper. Dark Creeper. I don't know, Games Workshop. You might want to think about changing that Dark Reaper. Creeper. creeper. <laughs> dark Creeper. <laughs> sounds like a guy I knew in college. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> so um, you want to make sure that when you're painting each new layer, you're able to organize. So sometimes I face them to the side, sometimes I organize them by um, facing them to the back. Like right now what I'm doing is I'm having the guys that I haven't finished painting facing forward. And then as I paint them up, I'll, I'll put them back into the line facing backwards. Really simple technique, but um, one that's 
it's saved me a lot of headaches trying to remember oh which ones have I which guys have I done like in the beginning here I'm only doing overall general base coats but once you get into you know painting the boots and the straps and the leather pouches and the weapons and stuff you're gonna want to have a system that you know um, inside and out and uh, speaking of getting into the details uh, I'm probably not gonna show too much of everything that I'm doing because uh, in the next couple of videos it, the detail work is going to take a lot longer like it's really easy to just dry brush almost all of these guys with rust gray but yeah I mean I, I did some test models on some crew guys and uh, just getting the base coats was kind of crazy so anyways stay tuned for more um, as the July painting challenge for 2014 continues and here I'm just gluing on backpacks that some of the guys were missing their backpacks like what are you guys doing? Don't go to war without your backpacks. Bring your backpacks.